Hi, this is Sean Duby, Technical Director for Windows IT Pro Magazine, and I thought I would spend a few minutes to give you a walkthrough of the Active Directory replication monitoring tool known as REPLMON. REPLMON is a graphical replication monitoring tool uh, compared to REPADMIN, which is a command line tool. REPLMON first became available in Windows 2000 and then in Windows 2003. It was not carried forward to Windows 2008 and Windows 2008 R2. The main tool for replication monitoring and adjustment and correction in all of Active Directory versions really is RepAdmin. However, REPLMON is an excellent little tool for helping teach the Active Directory administrator how replication works and looks in a graphical fashion. Uh, which is then ease more e the administrator can more easily graduate to uh, the more complicated command line tool of RepAdmin. REPLMON is part of the Windows 2003 resource kit that you can get from Microsoft.com. Though technically not supported for Windows 2008 and R2, it does work against those domain controllers, though perhaps some of the more advanced REPLMON functions may not work. This particular system is a Windows 2003 system. However, uh, we'll be using REPLMON to look at and monitor both a Windows 2008 domain controller and a Windows 2008 R2 domain controller. So we already have the uh, Windows uh, 2003 support tools installed uh, on this uh, member server. So let's fire up REPLMON. As you can see, REPLMON is a, uh, an MMC console and it starts out pretty empty. So the first thing that you can do, well, the first thing that you need to do obviously is add monitored servers to it. There are two ways you can do it. The first is to simply do it by hand. So I would right click on monitored server, say add monitored server. Um, you can do a search directory, but everybody, myself and everyone I've ever known, just says add the server explicitly by name. So choose next and we're going to enter the name of the monitored server explicitly and we'll add one of the uh, domain controllers its name is Godon G-O-D whoops not not dog Don Godon G-O-D-A-N and say finish and now it's added Godon so the first thing that you should see now that we're actually monitoring a server with REPLMON is the left hand side uh, the scope pane and the right hand side the focus pane the scope pane on the left is generally where you will, at least for learning replication, is a place that you'll focus a little bit more on. So you can see from uh, examining this that Godon is, first off, you'll see the icons will tell you a lot of information. You'll see next to the server icon, you'll see that there is a small um, globe there indicating that this uh, domain controller is a global catalog server. You can also see that it is a member of the site called Hub. It is in fact the only member of the site called Hub because this is a very small AD configuration with two domain controllers and two sites. You'll see that the domain controller has uh, hosts several um, directory partitions, the expected directory partitions. So first it has a domain partition, then it has the configuration partition, the schema partition, and two DNS zones because these are Active Directory integrated DNS zones being hosted as uh, partitions. So the domain DNS zones and the forest DNS zones. If we expand uh, one of these partitions, let's expand the domain partition, we will see a list, uh, we'll see another domain controller listed and another site name. The site name is Branch and the other domain controller is called Kyoshi. This icon shows that Kyoshi is a bridgehead server maintaining the intersite connections for the branch office branch. Now, since this is a small configuration, you will see that all of the partitions are hosted by the uh, replicate in inbound from Kyoshi because it holds all of them. Now, in a more complicated scenario, these may all be hosted by, it's possible that these are all hosted by different domain controllers and indeed from different sites as well. 
Let's open this up again and this time let's monitor, uh, let's open a monitored servers by using a script the other way that you can do this. So if I say file, open script, and I have a, a script here called dcs.ini. And if we look at it, dcs.ini uh, has nothing other than two uh, domain controllers listed in a simple text file. So I'll choose this and open it. That says it already exists as a monitored server, so uh, it didn't add it, but it did add the other. It did add the other server, the other domain controller. So as I expand it here, we can see. If we look on the other side of the uh, of the topology in the branch office called branch, with Kyoshi as its bridgehead server, we'll see in the other direction. Uh, Godon uh, for the hub site. Again, this is a relatively simple example with just two domain controllers. On the right hand side, at any for any one of these particular directory partitions, we can find out when the what the replication status is and when it worked successfully. So here we have direct replication partner data. It even gives you the update sequence numbers of um, the last replication sequence. You can choose to have this update automatically. By default, it updates manually, so you have to hit F5 to, um, to have it refresh. But, like I said, you can have it update automatically, 60 seconds, let it go, and it will uh, update, and then you can always cancel auto-update whenever you want to. This is it is interesting to run replication monitor on an environment with a lot of domain controllers. Uh, however, the auto update can take quite a while to run if you have many domain controllers. The next level in understanding replication uh, using replication monitor is to look in some of the more advanced settings. So, for example, if we go to the options setting here. One of the more interesting places to look is to show transitive replication partners and extended data. Now, in this particular environment, it won't show very much, but in other words, the idea behind showing transitive replication partners is that, of course, across an Active Directory topology, domain controller A will replicate with domain controller B, and B will replicate with C. So what this will show us is a deeper knowledge of the replication uh, beyond just its immediate partners. And that can show you a, a good amount of information. Replimon can also show you uh, objects that have replicated or have not replicated, which is useful when replication isn't working because you can see objects uh, or uh, objects or attribute changes that ha are queuing up because they have not replicated to another domain controller. So for example, let's go over to the domain controller Godon here and let's go to Active Directory Users and Computers. Now Godon is in one site and Kyoshi is in another site and the replication, intersite replication interval is turned down to 15 minutes. Still, um, that's plenty of time to make a change and then see what happens. So we're in Active Directory Users and Computers in this directory and we're in a uh, an OU called CarTalk and one of the users in this OU is our Elvis impersonator, and his name is Amal Shookup. So let's go take a look at Amal. And what we're going to do is we're going to change one, uh, one attribute for Amal and watch it replicate. So let's change his, his display name and add it in here. And let's just put his full name in there. We'll just call it A-M-A-L-S-H-O-O-K-U-P, Amal Shookup. The Elvis impersonator. So we've applied this change now to Godon. And it has not replicated across over to Kyoshi because it's in another site. Now let's go back to Replimon. And let's see if we can find that change. First thing that we want to do is do a refresh so that Replimon has a current view of the directory since we've made the changes. And we're going to find out on this connection what has not been replicated from Godon to Kyoshi. So I'll right click and say check current USN and unreplicated objects using existing credentials. Ah, and here we are. Unreplicated objects 
giving the current USN on Godon, and it shows the following objects have been determined to have been created or changed since the last object was replicated. To get metadata details, you can double click the object. So there's them all shook up. We'll take a look at, the, at this up, oh, and it is, since we have looked at it, it has replicated. But this is a way that, uh, this is another way that you can drill into the uh, metadata, the actual information about the replication, about the objects that are being replicated, or the attributes being replicated in a graphical form. Now you can do all of this with uh, RepAdmin, but Rep REPL Monitor is a great and easy way of learning how to use it, of uh, learning how to work with replication rather, um, without having to get involved in all the command line structures uh, immediately. So, hope you found this useful. Give uh, Repelmon a try, and um, hope your replication, uh, hope you don't have to use it for replication too often.